So let's start the morning call right now. Uh, let's come back to the spreadsheet. Yesterday, I'm, I'm, I try to repeat everything as I, <coughs> I explained before. <coughs> <coughs> also yesterday, <coughs> sorry guys. <coughs> <coughs> so sorry. Yesterday, I highlighted it a lot. If you guys observe the intraday alerts, 4,205, right? I alert you guys a lot about 4,205. Why I alert you guys a lot? Because, you know, if you guys open, I have been sending the dark pool spreadsheet every day in the dark pool spreadsheet channel. If you note line 623, in the last day, this is the date, you know, the order was printed, the last day of February, somebody sold 4,205 call contracts per $56. The total premium was $35,000. This dealer, this dealer just trade, you know, Delta and Delta, okay? He was looking for Delta Decay to receive $35 as a premium, okay? He's looking for $35, for $35 million as a premium. So, he sold by $56. Now, this contract is costing $5. So far, he has $90. 0.37% premium. So he already start to one wind this contract. Since he already, you know, close 30, 33.52% of the contract. So the others one, he is keeping running. Okay? He's still open, keep running. Because he look to receive at least 100%. Nowadays, he receive, he or she, I don't know, receive 90.37%. So, 4,205, for me, as soon as I saw this order, became the key level for, especially today, because expired today, expired today. As you guys realize, yesterday, what I did, I sold 4,205, bought 4,210, and received the spread, right? I used the spread to build another bullish spread uh, selling calls yesterday. Yesterday. And also yesterday, a soon market top at 4,231. I was looking for 4,235. I also sold the same, I, I also opened the same spread for today. I sold by $20, 4,205. And of course, you know, I'm, I don't play naked, you know, I bought 4,210. I, I received, if I'm not wrong, like a four or five dollars uh, spread. Uh, I guess it was $5. I received money to build this spread. Okay? So now, my short call, you know, is giving me almost $15. Because I sold by 20. Of course, you know, you know the Tel 10 that is called 4,210. But I don't care about 4,210. You know, just my protection. And I care about the spread that I'm receiving. I receive like a three or four dollars, I don't remember, and I use the money to buy a lot. I bought 4,100 per 20 cents yesterday. But remember, I didn't use this, my money. You know, I used the spread, part of the spread, just to buy a lot. Okay? Now you guys understand why I sold 4,205. Because this person is telling me, sell this, I cover you. Gotcha? Anyway, uh, yes, also yesterday, after the close, I, uh, I placed, you know, uh, I just copy and paste, you know, the deltas uh, set up for today. So the delta set up for today is also suggesting me a gap down. As you guys see, the future. Future is suggestions to open with minus 20, uh, 20 points. So yesterday I put in, you know, the intraday alerts, alerts that the delta set up suggestions a gap down today. Okay. So far, 
we are opening us a gap down. The other point is the DIX, DIX, and the GIEX. If you guys compare with yesterday and with Friday, remember that they remove liquidity since Thursday because the DIX dropped to below uh, to below 44%, especially Friday. And remember that the GIX also dropped last Friday, from Thursday to Friday. What's happened with the market last Friday? The market jumped higher. Remember, removing liquidity doesn't mean that the market will crash. It means that the door is really tight. If they want to melt up, and if you want to buy, you buy higher. Because the door is tight. It's, get, it's difficult to get in. And if you want to sell, and if they are selling, you will sell lower. Again, the door is really tight. You will not be able to get in in the, in, in the correct time. So the liquidity that they remove Friday, and they are add a little bit more yesterday because jump from 43 or 42, I don't remember how it was, for to, 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 to let me back to five sorry i can back, back over here i don't need to remember so from 43 friday so they jump to 46 three percent right 3.07 percent and you guys notice that yesterday they start to get out they had the liquidity because they need the liquidity to get out okay and you saw also the GX jumping as well. For today, again, came from 46. They add liquidity, they add liquidity again. And also the GX jump. Why? Because they want to get out. And, uh, and GX also jumping in jumping, walking the same, you know, uh, direction as the DIX means that the book is already, you know, built. By them. So even if they have liquidity, the books are already built. It is also difficult to you to get in. The GX for me, you know, I don't I don't interpret I don't make interpretation about the GX as a gum exposure in the options. The GX usually, you know, is the book that they provide and remove liquidity. They provide already those orders, their orders are already in the book. As Friday, Anthony showed you guys, oh, that's weird. I have a big order at 4,125. That's the GX. That's, you know, the GX. Okay. Now you guys already compare what's happening when they remove liquidity back, back on Friday and they start to add liquidity, you know, starting yesterday. Now you guys understand the 4,205 as a key. And now you guys understand the Delta's design that providers clue the direction of the market. Okay? They suggest a gap down. Now, let's go a little bit further. But because I cannot only provide a bearish, you know, a test to you guys. Because, you know, but let, let, let's move on. Sorry. So, I also, you know, track a bunch of orders. And I put, you know, the price section to you guys make your own interpretation. Do due diligence is very important, okay? It's very important because I fail, like I failed on Friday. My levels didn't fail. Again, my levels didn't fail on Friday. I fail because I, inter I make inter a wrong interpretation regarding a $1.2 million call premium. Strike 4,160 break, even 4,171. I thought was a sold call, but was a buy, right? I, I, I like to, you know, to highlight it, you know, again, because the levels play well. As soon, and, and also I entered, you know, the Anthony live chat, and he asked me, Fabio, what are you looking for? As I told you, I look for 4,171. Because my interpretation was a short call. But you guys will realize as soon as we break 4,171, market, you know, went straight higher. So the resistance play well. Why? Because somebody, somebody sold that call, somebody bought. But the person that bought, that I make interpretation in a wrong way, that I thought, you know, the dealer sold, and consequently 
retail you sold in dealers bought, you know, had more power to squeeze everybody went market up to 4,205 if I'm not wrong on Friday, right? So today that's different. Because especially if you check the price action, okay? Somebody or unwind for 4,210 for today, or they really sold those calls. In another hand, I'm seeing print at 4,180 and 4,109. See, I also highlighted over here a huge volume in such contracts uh, uh, nearby the close. See, as soon as you reach 3,068, somebody jump in to buy. 4,108 contracts. And then, you know, somebody, those that bought at, for, at, three, at 368 is already making money because it's already traded at 4,030. This order was, was uh, uh, printed at 351 when market was traded at 4,204. The, the time that they start to lose 4,205. But, you know, very close from the price that closed yesterday. And, you know, still in the money. I mean, the, the, this person is not losing money because, you know, the contract is still trading at 4030 Since we are open, the deltas suggest you open a, a gap down. This person knew, news that, you know, even if you lose a couple cents at the close, they you make at the open, right? So I'm looking for 4,180 and also I'm looking for 4,109, okay? Now, let me explain about 4,109. And let me give you now a bullish bias thesis. Okay? Again, 4,205, huge call premium. You guys already realized that. Somebody sold almost half a million dollars, 4,210, call, half a million premium, almost, and people start to buy some puts, okay? In all the puzzles, all the puzzles show us downtrend, right? But let me bring 4,109 to, uh, to you guys, and let's, you know, talk about maybe a bullish thesis too regarding today. Now, 4,109. Could you be the main support for today? Could. Because you know the huge gum exposure that you have for at, at that we have at 4,109. So I'm looking what market will do as soon reach 4,109 doing this huge gamma exposure. Also, back testing this level. Let me a pen and ask you guys, just you know, to highlight. If you will back test the level, this guy will make almost 100 percent because they have time to close, you know, the remaining short calls that the, he is still carrying on, right? Also, give this guy that you know that somebody sold a half a million dollars, 4,210, time to make a lot of money too if they short this call i mean a lot of a lot of money a lot of time to close the short call as soon as you reach 4109 if they are playing like a flip flop you know uh support and resistance they sold the resistance and then you buy support they have a plenty of time then to close the resistance level and buy the support level and bring markets up so for me today, and to have, you know, also a bullish thesis, a bullish read is 4,109. If the market, you know, hold that 4,109, so far the gamma suggests this, but during the intraday, zero DTE, you know, gamma is not too much important. I'm looking more for the delta variation because you know the delta decay, especially, you know, show how the movement will be. But by now, according to the gamma, 4,109 will be the key level, right? The big key level because the size of the exposure that we have in this region. 
Also, as soon as you backtest, and, you know, skip distribution, or keep, you know, longer uh, there, maybe, you know, we will see call being vanished. But nowadays, we don't have more uh, huge call wall that we had before. Let me go up. For example, let me hear. So, as you have before, have uh, as you had before, you know, for example, here at 4200, 4210, we don't have more these, you know, huge gum exposure. So, now if you hold it's 4,109 uh, holds, we don't have, you know, any big gum wall that can, you know. Uh, contain for the rallies because you know the huge gamma wall it's 4,109 that suggests there's a support okay so this is the bullish thesis if you know those guys that sold the resistance 4,205 4,210 contracts they have a plenty of time if you market back test 4,109 hold they close their short calls and they have plenty of time to buy Long calls, at least for the for the intraday to bring markets up. Remember, I already give you guys my interpretation regarding the structure. Now I'm providing providing you guys the second option that you have in the book. The clue is 4,109. In another hand, keeping the bearish the bearish read, the puts are very vanishing. So if you will lose in 4,109, market sells is already ready to go down further. We don't have more those 4,100 uh, put you all huge negative gamma in the book anymore. If you ask my opinion, per design, we are ready to break 4,109. And 4,109 will be the major resistance. That's my personal opinion. But the important is not my personal opinion. The important is the structure and how the levels will hold. Or if the levels will not hold. Right? Especially today, 4,109. So bring, you know, the option book to the screen. I highlight over here, you know, the red zone is ours, is ours, the resistance. I already showed several times, I highlighted several, several times to you guys, 4,210 and 4,205. Hold on, sorry. Uh, because you know the book, right? So this is the core resistance so far and in green is the main support 4109 even you know the gamma flip is around 4106 i in my in book interpretation 4180 will be the transition level that we could back test 4150 okay again repeating for, on Friday, 4,171.50 was the key level, right? Was the key level for the melt up. I'm looking again because, you know, the option book that again, 4,171.50 is the critical level, but now is for the downside, not for the upside. Why 4,171? Because it's the break-even of 4,175 contracts, okay? If you look, you know, this transition region that started at 4,180, we could backtest the no gamma exposure at 4,150. I also add a note over here that 4,150 is the middle line of the bullying band. 4,167 in the daily graph. 4,167 is the middle line of the bullying band for the monthly graph. So, regarding, you know, graph analyzing bullying bands, 
So 4,150 4, up to 4,167, that's are the zone per graph that bulls need to defend. And per option show that 4,180 up to 4,175 is the transition region. So bulls need to defend 4,171.50. Okay? The importance are the level. Not, you know, my interpretation. I already provide you guys a bullish interpretation. 4,109 hold the market and then we could spike up. And I also provide you know, the bearish interpretation. Show, show you guys the 4,205, 4,210 short calls, big premiums. Show you guys 4,109 as a huge gum exposure. And also puts vanishing also markets is ready to go down further down okay and the levels that is played by the options book okay no bias no bias we cannot have bias we need to play the levels because the the structure is set set up to add liquidity to dealers at least to get up to get down repeating you know being like a penny in the ass they remove liquidity from thursday to friday they spike the market up Liquidity came from 50% to 43%. Then on Friday, market is packed to 4,205, 2,410. Uh, Let me back here to Friday. Being like a pain in the ass to you guys. So, Friday, remove liquidity. DIX, 43%. GX dropped almost 1 billion. So, book was really clean. Don't need to use, uh, use a lot of money to move the market. They bring markets above 4,200. 4,171 was the key level from Friday. So DIX came from 43.11 to yesterday to 46 plus 3%. They add liquidity back. Why they add liquidity back? Also, they increase the GX. So they built the book for them. So they add liquidity because they, they need liquidity to get out. Yesterday, a big candle. <coughs> Market, you know, closed flat, but it will open with almost 1% gap. <coughs> almost 1% gap up. In the market, you know, close almost red, flat red. They add liquidity. Now, again, came from 46% to 49%. They add more liquidity. Delta suggests there's a gap down. Future so far is provided there's a gap down. The GX also went up. GIX and GEX move in the same direction. Provide liquidity book built. Market's coming down. In my analysis, we will see a unidirectional movement today. Since you already start to downsize, for me, you'll be a continuation to downsize. Put, vanish. Markets ready. They will not react bears because bears became long. Majority. I also post in Twitter, everybody is trading 4,300. Nobody is trading 3,200. So, where, where will you have more pain? Up or down? Nowadays, down. That's very clear. Put call rate lower, you know, retails long, retails look for 4,300, debt ceiling, you know, you be uh, bring market to all time highs. A lot of people is inquiring orders in Twitter, asking if you go to all time highs. Because the markets bring anxiety to bears and to bulls. Because that, no bias. Today, my interpretation, unidirectional move to downtrend. But we need to move 4,109. Okay, my how are you? What are you do today? As I explained the beginning of the morning call, right? Yesterday I sold spreads, right? I sold spread. I sold four thousand two hundred and five and bought four thousand two hundred and ten, and used the money to buy at twenty cents four thousand one hundred. Put 
I don't use my money, I use market money. If they crash the market, I'm in. If they don't crash the market, I don't care. I don't use my money, but I receive the spread. So a soon market reach for uh, back test for 1,120 and for 1,120 holds, I will close my short put. I sold, oh, now 4,205 4, is 480. I sold yes, but per $20. So if 4,109 holds the market, I will close my short call and I will keep my 4,210 according the bullish thesis that I already provide to you guys. Right? I don't play pair, pair bear or pair bull. I don't care. I play both sides. I sell spreads, buy lotus, and if the market hold where you have a gamma exposure, I will take profit from the market because I sold by $20. If you be right now, I will rebuy for for 70. I will receive $15 as premium. That's my gain. And I will leave 4,210 if they want to melt up market to 4,300 as retail is looking for. I don't use money to buy call. I don't use money to buy put. Right? The setup pay me, you know, for everything. And I can be positioned for up or for down. As you, can, you guys can see in the screen, I don't have only for tomorrow. I have a bunch. Okay? I have for August. I have for June. I play both directions. True, you know, verticals. True two combos, two colors, you know, I built a bunch of structures and I play both sides. As soon market decide to go up and down, I do rearrangement of, you know, my structures. That's what I do. That's what I do. I just copy and paste what dealers do. Okay. So you guys understand what I did today. I mean, I built yesterday. I built all those spreads premium yesterday. So everybody bought call. Guys, buy options, naked options. It's for body that you know really want to take a lot of risk. We don't need to take a lot of risk. You need to play smart. To play smart means use market money. Market money is free if you play right. Market money is free. As you know, all the retail you did back in 2020, you know, being leveraged, using, you know, the cost of money that was almost zero to make a lot of money since we came for 2,100 up to 4,100. Uh, 4, 4, Do the same. We can trade in a, a no volatility days, building structure, just selling premium. You, when you sell premium and you create your locks, you know how much you can lose. You don't need to be in the screen. You put like a stop loss. People that do that is people that, you know, doesn't understand the financial market. That's, you know, I'm, that's the way that I'm trying to explain you guys how you can constantly make money. You don't need to make like 100,000 in one day, but you lose 200,000 another day. If you go to any tax, you know, uh, accounted, you know, person and, and, and ask them, oh, the trade, the trade guys that, you know, do the, the, the tax to you guys, usually they are profit, the majority they are profit or they are loss. 90% of the tax guys, you say, no, they are loss. Why? Because people pay... I always play pair better bulls instead of to use the market money to build structures and do the rearrangement. You guys already understand what I did. I have a $15 premium. I can close if the market hold 4,109 and I can keep for free 4,210. If they want to melt up, up to 4,300 is where everybody's looking. I mean, without my money. And with profit, because I already close, I mean, I will close 4,205 if I see a hold at 4,109. You guys understand? And also, I short the market by, you know, a lot using the spread that I received. Not my money. If you go to zero, I, I, I don't care. 
I don't use the entire spread to buy, you know, uh, a bunch of contracts. I use a, a small part to buy 20 cents uh, put, 4,100 put. So if the market crash, I mean, if the markets, you know, melt up, I mean too. I mean too. Okay? That's, you know, that's why I want to teach you guys, you know, how to play markets. Selling premium is much more profitable that you try to guess levels. You guys already realize, because maybe you guys, you know, are in the market for a lot of years, right? For sure you guys are. And for sure you guys are uh, following people that, you know, or do Elliott Wave, or do Supply and Demand, or do Fibonacci. And the majority of the time, they buy where is not a place to buy. You guys have been seen several times, even in the open group, even you know in the Twitter. Oh, are you buy here? That's the supply. The markets drop, you know, up to to to, to back test WMA four hundred. If you guys play supply and demand Fibonacci at the off to wave with, you know, locks with structure, certainly you not got, you guys will not be liquidated, right? Because you guys know how much money you can lose. You can build the lock. And if the markets went down, you have the lock. You can, what I'm doing for calls, I do for puts as well. Yesterday, what I did, I sold 4,200. Then I locked my loss, set buying 4,190 puts. I sold 4,195 puts and I bought 4,108 puts like a bullish spread, right? The same way that, you know, I do spreads for call, I do for puts as well. Yesterday, I just trade support and demand, selling spreads premium. If you mark, and, and for, especially for 4,200, in some point, you guys, you see market back into, back test 4,195, if I'm not wrong, you know, my, my short put became in the money, right? But I was locked with 4,195. I was locked at 4,109. I was, you know, no, sorry, I was locked at 4,180. I was locked at 4,190. At the end of the day, they smelt up, as I expect you guys. I told you guys. So maybe, you know, the ball is something between 4,195 or 4,180, 4,185. Because that I build those, those spreads. And I also, uh, the structure yesterday suggests, I told you guys, the suggestions to not close the gap, but they close the gap. But suggestions to close above 4,200, and then you close at exactly at 4,205. Who is 4,000? Everything have a motive, right? And who was 4,205? This guy. $35 million premium. It's not a coincidence, right? It's not a coincidence. That's the option book where the money is located. Guys, uh, morning call is over. I uh, hope you guys understand. I give you levels are the important thing. I give you like the bearish thesis and the bullish thesis. 4,109 is the key level. Let me get a better regard for 4,109 because 4,109 Put now is costing twelve dollars, right? Twelve. So the break even is four thousand one hundred seventy seven point two. Very close from who? Sorry, going down. The break even for 4,109, 4,177.2. Very close from 4,171.50. Okay? 4,109, then 4,180, then 4,171, up to 4,077. Those are the levels. If you hold there, market could jump back up. If you don't hold, Markets are also prepared to go down. 
Okay? Thanks for the audience. Remember, this is just, you know, ex, uh, ex, uh, my this is for the study purpose. This is not a recommendation of investment. I just you know, I want you guys to do a due diligence, hours, play accordingly, and monitor all the levels. The levels are the important thing, not what I thought. Okay? My view is that market is going to down. But if you hold 4,109, market could you be back up. My structure, will, could you play me out? If market you know hold at 4,009, I close 4,205. And if they decide to melt up, I keep 4,210. That's, you know, how I play today. Otherwise, I leave the spread. I don't care. Both could be go to zero. I already received my, 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 my money and I bought my, my lot. 4,100, 